Dentists don't approve. No. Okay, big dentists don't want you to have this. Nine out of ten dentists said no. Nine out of ten dentists said get that shit out of my office. Hey guys, it's me, Julia. And me, Jesse. And today we're reviewing another Mountain Dew product. We've had a lot of these reviews recently, but uh, we, we got the new Mountain Dew Spark I think Raspberry Lemonade. I think it's one of the newest. It says new on it. Well, new there, Whoa. there you go. It says new. It has to be new. Uh, yeah, so Raspberry Lemonade. Um, sounds amazing. Is it going to be good? We don't know. Let's find out. We found this at our local Dollarama. What price was it, though? It would have had to be a dollar fifty, because usually that's how much cold drinks are. Now, is raspberry lemonade just pink lemonade? Correct. It is pink lemonade. Is just raspberry lemonade? I believe so. Because that's what it smelled like. Wow! This whole time. Or I remember when I was younger, I I like looked up what makes pink lemonade pink, and I think it was. Yeah, it was raspberry. It smells like pink lemonade. It smells really good. Up mm. in this, we got carbonated water, sugar, which is sugar and glucose fructose. Terrible. Natural flavor, citric acid, gum arabic, sodium benzate, benzoate, caffeine, sodium citrate, ester gum, calcium di disodium, EDTA, potassium benzate, and Allura, Allura Red. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, red. Mm. It's uh. Oh. Really good, but it's sweet. It's got like that. It's got like a rocket's sweetness. You know, like those rockets candies. In hmm. America, they call them Smarties. Smarties. Yeah. yeah, so those it's underwhelming. Those powdery candies. Yeah, the flavor. I don't know. I think it's really good because it may be underwhelming, but the last time I had pink lemonade was like a long time ago. But I think you take pink lemonade and then you carbonate it, and it's it's gonna be good. And this is good. Like I, I don't really understand why they put raspberry lemonade when everyone are already puts pink lemonade for raspberry lemonade, but I don't know, I guess to me raspberry lemonade sounded more wow, but then yeah, I just realized raspberry. it's just pink, yeah, lemonade. It's just pink lemonade. It's good though, but um, it just, it has this like, like really sweet, I, I don't know, I always say this, but I think yeah. it could be, because you're not used to regular sugar, I'm not, yeah, I'm not used to regular sugar, and it's got 91 milligrams of caffeine for the whole bottle, so don't be drinking this at night like we are, um, <laughs> And I just like, I don't know, when I think raspberry lemonade, I think a stronger flavor. I'm also more tart. Yeah. Like, and because it's carbonated, I think mm -hmm. it's going to be like even more that, but it's just, you know, it's refreshing. It's, it's yeah, a good it's, soda, but I wouldn't like buy it. It's I'm refreshing. Like, I want a drink. If they had a diet version, I'd probably buy that. Um, but I think I like this better than Baja Blast, honestly. Like, I really like pink lemonade, and I like the fact that it's carbonated. I've never had a carbonated pink lemonade, so. So, is the flavor oh. as advertised? Out of 10. Yeah, out of 10. 10 being they nailed it. Yeah, it's like a 7. It's just, like, too subtle for me. I don't know how to rate this, because this is, like... I don't get raspberry. I just get pink lemonade. Well, that's what pink lemonade is. Okay, then I guess it's. Ugh. I guess for me, it's it's a ten. They nailed raspberry lemonade. Then I, I don't think so. No I seven. I don't know. You drink it more than me, so I I'm just. I don't remember the last time I had pink lemonade, but no, no. I just I just expect it more tartness. More tart, yeah. Cause yeah, I mean, and I it's guess. carbonated. It's. I just, I, I think I just, I'm enjoying it more. Overall taste out of 10? Same thing. Eight. <laughs> oh, you're going to give it a 7? I'm going to give it uh, a 10. I really like it. Solid. Value? So $1.50 Canadian for a 5.91 mil bottle at Dollarama. I'd say, that's a, for me, that's a 10 out, 10 out of 10 value because... It is? Yeah, because like... If you were to buy this at, like, Walmart, it'd be $2. Yeah. 
if you were to buy this at a gas station, it'd be more than two dollars. So the fact that Dollarama sells it, yeah, I guess I'm in the fridge. Yeah, like if if Dollar Tree carried it, that that would okay, fine. I'll bring it to a nine out of ten. I'm frugal. I give it an eight. I'm just saying you can't really get a new limited type edition soda for cheaper unless it's at the Dollar Tree. But Dollar Tree would be a ten out of ten. I'll give this a nine out of ten because it's twenty five cents more. Okay, sweetness level out of 10. 10 is just like pure sugar. Oh, it's like 5. Really? 5? For me, this is... It's because you don't drink soda. I know, but it's just... It's Excuse not me. only super sweet, but it like hits my teeth like rockets. Like it like yeah, powdered it's that sweet to me. sugar. But also, I think the last one did too. So, I'm going to say it's a 9. It's it's pretty sweet to me. But take this take this as a grain of salt because i i am always well not always i'm usually on keto no. i'm used to sweeteners i don't consume normal sugar so to me this just tastes really sweet i'll go six you'll go six i'm i'm sticking with a nine it's it's sweet if it hits my teeth and it's like uh, ow, you know, ow then that's too sweet for me um but yeah overall i think it was really good and mm, it's good I'm excited to see what Mountain Dew comes out with. I like all these like limited run type flavors, uh, and I think what Coke's doing with their their uh, creator series mm -hmm. is really cool. And you know, maybe Pepsi will come out next. Fanta did the the, yeah, the mystery, yeah. um, and I don't, I don't know. know. I don't I, know what I, Pepsi would do with Pepsi. I don't know. Pepsi's just so plain and basic. Like, what are they gonna do? You know, Pepsi's just fine the way it is. Pepsi's Pepsi, but but I, I just like the uh, limited uh, type flavors, and I don't know, it's just something new, and I think a lot of these like soda companies have been needing to do something like this, because they have their traditional base sodas, everyone likes it, now it's time to sprinkle in some fun stuff, and you know, maybe it pops off and blows up, like Baja Blast did back at Taco Bell, but yeah, if you haven't tried it, check your local Dollarama if you're in Canada, if not grocery store grocery store if you like pink lemonade you'll probably like this um but it's refreshing yeah it's refreshing and yeah don't don't forget don't drink it at night because the, the caffeine but if you enjoyed this leave a like we appreciate it and uh comment any reviews you want to see us do down below or just other things or other things we're gonna we're gonna be branching out of the review realm for for a little bit well not a little bit but but we're gonna we're gonna dabble in in more things than just reviews um and subscribe if you enjoyed and you want to see more of us and then uh also follow us on all our social medias they'll be like right here wow and, wow uh, there's so many i edited that yeah that's cool he did that i did that with the editing stuff and i did the keyboard um, <coughs> without a keyboard. But, uh, anything else, Bob? Um, I think that's all, Ralph. Alright, don't forget to brush your teeth after you drink Mountain Dew Spark. Unless you want a cavity. Your dentist, dentists don't approve. No. Okay, big dentists don't want you to have this. 9 out of 10 dentists said no. 9 out of 10 dentists said, get that shit out of my office. Uh. You ever realize how some dentists offer, like, drinks in the mini fridge and it's like coke which dentist are you going to the one in o oakville that i went to yeah because they're trying to grab you they got an xbox and they got coke they're trying to rob you will they also give you chips no no food because i didn't get stuck in your teeth